Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, contributors, writers, and friends gather to look at cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is for one of our guys, uh, John Jonathan Ramsey. Our contributor, Jonathan Ramsey, is getting rid of his Buick, which he bought for the winter. Uh, it's a car that he found on this show, actually. So we thought we'd take this week to help him find a car. Jonathan, you want to tell us what you wanted and what the budget was? <laughs> what I wanted. I just wanted to see what you guys had for me for five grand. <laughs> that's, that's it. This, this will reveal what we really think of you, I think. <laughs> exactly. Like I said, this is where I find out all my friends think I'm ugly and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Jonathan. <laughs> uh, senior editor Joey Caparella is here with us this week. Uh, and uh, deputy testing director Casey Colwell. And of course, the great Jonathan, I mean, John Pearly Huffman. <laughs> I was like, no, please, please. The great Jonathan <laughs> Ramsey. And, and of course, contributor John Pearlie Huffman. Jo uh, Pearlie, you want to take it away? Sure. Look, we all know where my predilections lie. Okay. <laughs> Tundra. Yeah. So I thought Tundra. Tundra is the way to go. Look For at five this. Five grand? Look at these trucks. Oh, my God. They're so good. Here's a. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> here's my old. Here's my Tundra on its way. On its way. Way kind of sad here's my current tundra with my now new fake license plate which i added to the truck and but i thought to myself totally God. called the cops i know right <laughs> you know i'm thinking i like, gotta find the right tundra gotta find everything else and then i said no 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 i found something even better 2011 nissan leaf <laughs> oh my god what wow <laughs> that's right wow. So, okay i i gotta i gotta chime in here because I, for a split second, um, thought of something similar um, by basically just a different EV. Uh, but then um, in a conversation with somebody else who's definitely not a part of this, uh, reminded me that the range of these is 62 miles. It was Tony. It was Tony who said that. Was I, I, I don't recall. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's 62 miles is the problem. Uh, a, B, this is the this is one of two electric cars that <clears throat> that I've stranded my wife in. So I will um, not be giving you a thumbs up here, bud. Sorry. Look, I've and given I mean, up really like of all the EVs out there. I'm a Leaf driver. Look, I've given up. I've given up trying to win these things. I just want to play the game and have fun. <laughs> I'm just here as an amateur. I'm not here as a pro. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this is what you think of me, early. Like yeah, I right. said, you think I'm um... Jonathan, he doesn't think you're going anywhere, at least. No, not no, 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 wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Jonathan, whose lifestyle is a complete mystery to me. So here's my <laughs> thinking. This is a unique automotive experience, a first generation EV essentially is what we're talking about. First generation EVs. This car was, if I don't remember, I think it was like it was it was unbelievably expensive when it was new it was like a $36,000 car new right this one only has 28,000 miles on it 28,000 miles in a clean Carfax and it's only $5,000 28,000 miles that's like that's like 6,000 trips in a leaf because it's got no range <laughs> so. see this yeah this is a great car this is a great car uh, a third it's like if you if you not your only car this is a yeah. great car well, I'm assuming, I'm assuming Jonathan has a field of Glade, a Glade full of AMCs and old Eagles. And it's just kind of like he goes out and he looks upon it and says, now oh, I need man. to go to the grocery store. Hmm. And he takes the leap. And this car is, you know, th these are not terrible cars to drive. They don't go very far, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be his only car. Go through the photos. Well, there's only, there's only yeah. three photos. Photo. Go through the oh, photo. There it is. <laughs> three wow. photos. But you know the thing is, but it's twenty eight thousand miles, clean Carfax, five thousand dollars. It's ridiculously. How, there's a reason it costs five thousand dollars. It's not really a car. Yeah. Like, how what many, are you gonna do this, with what it? Spec is this? Do you know exactly, does this have the, Joey? Does this have the uh, the? Because wasn't um, DC charging optional on these? Yeah. This is the S. There was an SL, which SL, yeah, the, which probably, which probably got probably it, had yeah. the the it, Wasn't it a Chatham? Yeah. You know, here's yeah. here, here's the thing. For, for the right person, this car works perfectly. Like, my wife. It's a car for kids. It's a good car for kids. 
Yeah, my wife works at UC Santa Barbara, which is you know basically a school with eight thousand chargers on it. Wait, you live Especially in Santa Barbara? Especially if your kids Barbara? hate cars. If you have a yeah. kid who hates cars, get him this. But we're not we're not talking about just anyone. We're talking about Jonathan. Right. And I love that. I I love that instead of like sending me an email or doing what Casey and Tony do every week with their powwows, <laughs> you were like, I forget calling him. I'm just gonna find a leaf. Here you go. This is like the I didn't have time to make you a cake, so I microwaved this thing I bought at the convenience store in a, co- in, in a, in a, in a coffee mug. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. John, exactly. Jonathan, Jonathan, have you, have, Jonathan, have you owned an electric car? Look, no, I no, 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 no. Jonathan, not only did he microwave that thing from the convenience store, it was expired. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was an expired. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> but uh, it was, rolling it was on the it was expired and on the roll and then he points to so it's expired and then he points to the price of hey this used to cost forty dollars but i got it for five. <laughs> right. um look i don't have three of these and i've not owned one but of of all the things you could have jonathan jonathan look this is a chance to experience a new chapter this is Should not we? a chance to go fall back on the old amc shibboleths than what you were well, built and erected your life we? If the episode's gonna go like this, can we just call it now? now <laughs> if, 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 if it's gonna go like this, can we just? I think we just need to call it for Furley and move on. No, Jonathan, you're in for forty more minutes of oh this. Oh my god! All right. This is. Th- thank you. Thank you for the love. This, this is this is this is a, this is a chance to try something exciting and new. Hmm. Or Furley, at least I, this car. I will say one nice thing about the lead. It what? since it has. Since it's an electric motor, it has you know nice immediate power and it's quiet, which are two things that small cars don't do. It's but, like, but that's it. That's the that's the. Well, who else? I mean, but what else could there? I mean, what else? I mean, it's, who else is going to have a thing here that is a unique, that's a, a novel experience? That is a novel experience, and it's a piece of history because they I don't will. make. No, I see they don't make cars this on the road anymore. every day. All right, Pirelli, <laughs> that's enough. We got to go to the next person. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you know, you guys are not going <laughs> to, you guys, you guys are like that. Don't I, be like that. No, no, no. You're not going to vote for it. I'm right. You're all wrong. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you for microwaving the uh, expired cookie dough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, he didn't mention Santa Barbara once. <laughs> no, I mentioned UC Santa Barbara. We're about yeah, he said his wife. Oh, he did. He sure did, that. didn't he? <laughs> God. He mentioned Santa Barbara. Yeah, everyone has to drink because he mentioned Santa Barbara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Window shot bingo. <laughs> All right, Joey, you're up next. I hope uh, I hope you brought something better than that. I think I think it's a whole lot better. <laughs> and I was trying to tailor to Jonathan's taste in quirky, <laughs> forgotten things. So I found something that I think is pretty quirky, which is a Mazda MPV. <laughs> oh my god! I've, I've already oh, got a concussion. Is... I've already got oh my a concussion God. from this episode. <laughs> it's the four-wheel drive one. It's the four-wheel drive, all-sport wow. version of this weird minivan that Mazda had, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> some success with in the early 90s, but then not so much in the late 90s. It had giant doors. The rear doors are huge. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's a minivan, but it doesn't have sliding doors. And it was rear-wheel drive based. And they offered this, like, sort of Subaru Outback-like uh, four-wheel drive version but it's just like everything in these Whoa. photos makes, i've never driven one but everything in these photos makes me think it's just a really weird car it's Wait, totally these are longitudinal i know nothing about it, it. is it's like a, it's like it's definitely a, a car that i forgot it's, 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 so basically, it's a rear-wheel it's, drive chassis it was similar to like the mazda 929 sedan. it's a 929 tall wagon it's a 929 yeah, tall wagon. It's okay. Okay. really okay. tall and the four-wheel drive version was lifted even further mm-hmm. um, i think it might have won 10 best early on in its yeah life. okay so that this is a later one, Joey. I, this is the one where they tried to make it look like an SUV because many. Yeah, so in the early 90s, the MPV won 10 best two years in a row. Yeah, I remember. Um, 90, 91, no, no, 90 and 91. Right. And I found the stories and. Uh, That's a two minivan year. Look, the Previa was there too. Yeah, yeah, the Previa. And then I think later in the 90s, some of the. Chrysler minivans won. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So we were really into minivans in the 90s. Well, um, and then it, minivans got enough, split up the, into, into trucks. Yeah. Um, weirdly enough, we had given the award only to the rear-wheel drive version because I think we didn't like the four-wheel drive. We, we like neither its somewhat sluggish performance nor its too high off-the-road appearance. <laughs> so I would probably agree with that. It looks pretty awkward. 
Ugh. Tell but us about this one, Joey. What's this, this one is in really good shape. It's a little bit over budget, so I'm hoping you, you, know, you can negotiate way. a little bit. Ninety-two thousand miles. No time to negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> He's made that clear. Well, the good thing is, you know, what's really good. This one is in Portland, which is the same place where my leaf is. So you can buy both of them <laughs> and then tow the leaf back with this. Mm -hmm. uh, no, really it. it's got a diff lock. Yeah. There's all just like in this wheel drive, two wheel drive button. button that's on the column shifter. Yep. It's cool. And like, I just feel like it's weird and cool and forgotten. It's totally forgotten. It's so weird. It almost has like a JDM vibe to it. Yeah. It I was say, yeah. I thought it, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's imported. No, this was sold in the yeah. US just like. Oh, no, that. yeah, yeah. I'm remembering now, but um, could use some fender mirrors. Yeah, it would look cool with a little. Joey, I think this is the last movie. year of it, or second to last year of it. I think maybe yeah, ninety eight or ninety nine was yeah. the last year, and then of course they replaced it with the you know much more conventional front wheel drive MPV, MPV which you also know, which wasn't was, that successful. Which is actually pretty good though. The that MPV, that smaller MPV, is actually a pretty nice little thing to drive. Well, because what happened was like this came out in the late 80s i think and then all, all the minivans were kind of weird at that point like the previa was mid-engine and rear wheel drive um but later when the chrysler minivans got well i guess the chrysler minivans were around yeah i mean but this was competing yeah. against the chrysler minivans the aerostar and yeah. the uh the chevy the but yeah. my impression is that like basically the minivan segment hadn't settled on what the kind of typical layout would be so there were some rear wheel drive some front wheel drive and then in the mid '90s, the front-wheel drive ones kind of like became the main. They screen. dominated. I just, I just, don't, yeah. I don't think it was actually conceived as a minivan. I think it's conceived more as a tall wagon, more akin to like a Civic. You know that tall Civic wagon you showed before? Yeah, but it's way bigger than that. Yeah, it's, it's bigger, it's like it's bigger but, but it's conceptual. It's conceptually similar. It's you know. Yeah, yeah. Like for, what was based that? on the like 99. the the Tercel four-wheel drive wagon, or like in the Honda, the Honda. All yeah, I guess wagon. I could see that. In, instead of being based on a compact car this was based on like a large sedan yeah. but it's nice. just so weird i think it's so cool i would tell how much drive. power did these have like 190 horsepower it was i think a three liter v6 it's like 170 yeah it's probably the, it, yeah it's it not didn't... gonna be quick that's for sure <laughs> my, my mom had a 1990 which is basically this car but the sedan version it was a it was bulletproof so the the earlier ones had a three liter with 150 horsepower i think Maybe the later ones were up to like 170 or something, but it's not fast. That's for sure. A fascinating choice. Very, uh, yeah. Norm core, but also with a tinge of JDM weirdness. That's yeah. exactly what I was going for. <laughs> that's pretty much my personality in a nutshell. Congratulations, Joy. You're the most popular kid here today. Go ahead. Oh, here we go. Oh, so, so far. Weird. So far. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't be sore. <laughs> Guy shows up with Circle K sausage. <laughs> complains, <laughs> complains about what he has to eat. Circle K, man. It's like Circle K sushi that he brought. <laughs> exactly. Not sushi. It was well, I guess Ooh. it is sushi. It's yeah, expired. Different. All right, Casey, you're up to bat next. All right. So um, I, uh, <clears throat> I, had a, I, I had a hard time um, finding a car for you, Jonathan, uh, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to do you dirty. Um, I wanted to actually find you something that you might like, you know, and uh, Tony, I really, I really, I found a really nice Elante that, that I, I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to share with you, but, but then I found this guy, hmm. um, hmm. 850R, 120,000 miles, two owners, plenty clean. Uh, oh, very clean. That's beautiful. Yeah. Got one one, one hitch is let me just zoom out here a little bit. So, <laughs> uh, so it's uh, you know okay okay so I said all right let me see if there's uh -huh. any other ones out there and there are and this one also Portland area so you can just go and shop all these cars at once Lots test drive them all on the same day. Hmm. Um, but this is another one that is it's 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 clean. This one's black on black. I kind of oh, like nice. the white on black better. Um, uh, you know, some some small things, some small uh, cosmetic issues, but um, for the most part, it is uh, it's in great shape. These are quick, the legit 150 mile an hour cars too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and great seats. Great. I love it. Love yep. the seats with these. Yeah, great seats. Um, Absolutely. They're such uh, good you know, seats. these are this is this is uh, this you could go out and do really well at Radwood with this. Hmm. Um, oh God! Why would you want to do well at Radwood? <laughs> you mean, what do you have against Radwood? Yeah, go on. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it's uh, you know a lot of new stuff. This, yeah, a lot. Of, he's he's done he's done he's done some stuff. He says his mechanic um, says the valve stem steel. Mm. Uh, so it's probably eating oil like crazy. Uh, <laughs> definitely will um, will help you in uh, in this department. You know, work down a little bit from there, but um, right. Do you, know, yeah, you, you know, know, do you know the California Highway Patrol used these as cop cars for a year? No, I didn't know that. Oh, didn't know that can I share? Can I share? Not no. yet. Um, <laughs> but these were, I mean, these were um, uh, mid sixes, seven, seven. Seven, I think. Oh, no, no, six seven, yeah. six seven. So mid sixes. Um, no, I, I like these the cars. Quarter. I mean, over ninety miles an hour in the quarters. Yeah. Oh, it only yeah. went one forty. We had a wagon. We had a turbo wagon that went one forty seven. I think that might have been. Just uh, yeah, you want me to pull that up real quick? No, it's all right. Okay, because I did have it up. Yeah, the first the first road test was uh, uh, was a was a wagon. So it's a rare story written by Andre. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good guy, miss him terribly. And what is that? Is that chunk out of the bumper? That's not. No, there well, was nothing there before, correct? That's I don't know if that was okay. that, that could have been. There might have been like a, a front license plate bracket that mm -hmm. that may have slid between those. Two Does that get bigger, Casey? Can you make that bigger? Yeah, I guess it can. Make it. Right. CHP had put the push bar there. Hmm. Um, I mean, that's that's. These are cool. Uh, a friend um, like, oh, great! Like that shape with the slight, you know, body kit and spoiler and stuff. Works yeah, well. yeah. Eight fifty. I've always been into eight fifties. I would. Um, I would get one now if I had room for it, just to uh, have something to. This is a five, this is a five cylinder too, right? Yep. 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 My mom had one of these. She this is what she bought uh, when I inherited the the Jetta that had the sheet in the back in case I ever met a girl. Uh, my mom bought an eight fifty. And uh, yeah, I so I, I did the bunches, and this was when Volvo was. Uh, I mean, was yeah, this was when Volvo was in the the British Touring Car Championship. Which has never yeah. been here, but it was a big deal for Volvo with the wagon, and um, those were so cool looking. Here comes the Volvo. Oh, look at this! And this is fierce. Yeah, the the, yeah. the, the British cops used the, the wagons too. The British yeah. cops used to have the wagon. Yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like. Good choice, Casey. So. Can I <laughs> Can I, let, let so, yeah, I thought that book. was, I thought, uh, you know, summertime, I really wanted to go convertible. Um, but, uh, but then I, I kind of saw that and I was like, you know what? No, uh -huh. I think he, I think he dig it. So really, you should, let me share, just, uh, just yeah, quick you shot. Share it. Even though you brought a terrible car that you had nothing to say about, I guess, since Casey brought a good car. Wait, that's an S70. That's not an 850. Correct, Joey. That is correct. Oh, <laughs> <not> really? <laughs> really? Oh, but look at that, Joey. That's a Camry. <laughs> <laughs> that's... That, is that a tribute car? No, that's that like, no, that's a real, that's a real, that's a, that's a real patrol car. Hmm. So is this. So anyhow, they, and they they use these in, the, in Santa Barbara County where I live. Is this a Facebook group <laughs> that you belong to? No, it's not like a retreat. Please. <laughs> Wrong Volvo though. <laughs> right Camry though, Joey. All right, Jonathan, let's see what you oh, want. No, hold on, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Can, can, I, I just want a quick clarification. What's the difference between an 850 and an S70? They're different. Well, it's cars. a refresh. It's a heavy. Yeah, it was, it was, they were more pretty related to be. You fair. were promising an 850R police car, and that's. Oh, the go bad. away. Go, just. Yeah, we'll move on. You don't have to tell us to move on. We'll move on. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Uh, well, uh, so I've been looking at. Now, I'm not going to buy this because I already have, I have too many trucks as it is, but I've been looking at Broncos, which is part of, uh, and then I was going to stay away from this, but Tony had sent me this six, this Pontiac 6000, and that uh, rekindled my mid-80s uh, lust, and so, oh, now I got to get, rid of this. so I found this uh, Texas car originally, it's in South Carolina, so no rust, this was the first year, 87 of the Fourth generation? That's yeah. cool. This is the um, first of the blunt nose. Why is it so cheap? That paint is fading. Or yeah, is there's some. Painted? That's good patina, I think, on a Bronco. 
Oh, but it's, only, it's only fading back to the B pillar. It's only right, and then back, back there, the it's pillar. better. Yeah, don't don't use the B word. Gap. And that's yeah. I, well, I think this was kindergarten here. I think this is third grade <laughs> there, and then uh, but like it looks decent. This is also kind of shoddy over there. Um, this is three, it's it's three good worth way more than forty four hundred bucks. Oh my god! Look at the size of those pedals. That interior has been through a been through a lot. Come on, this is this is a Tony Caroga special interior. This will it's nice get, and red. Exactly. Well, oh, it parts was of it. red. It's more diamond <laughs> plate. You got the diamond <laughs> plate floor mat. Not red anymore. Uh, I know it's, it's it's they're not WeatherTech, so <laughs> it's a manual. Yeah, four speed manual. Ooh. That thing's got a hum on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're not going to be taking. Take it's it got overdrive. Way. Casey, it says it's got overdrive. It's I'm kind of wondering, like, this, this does not solid look axle factory. Part? Is this a solid axle or is this that split axle? What is that? Is that what is that bar for? It's the twin I beam, Casey, in front. The twin I beam is that without that. Jonathan, is that like um a step a step a step support that's now missing? Probably. Well, I don't know why you need a step support that runs to across the vehicle. Like it's on the other side too. So I mean, well, judging by the seat, the, the person that owned it might have been of uh, a large carriage. <laughs> and Tony, I, I hate to correct you because God knows I don't want to, but it was not a twin I beam in the front of these trucks. Oh, it's not? Twin really traction right. beam because it's four wheel drive. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, whatever, but it's the same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Is Wait, this a V8, Jonathan? Is Tell us what? about the car. Yeah, it's the, it's the five liter, well, 4.9 liter V8. So like 145 horsepower, 260. Oh, this is a six, six oh, four nine six. Yeah, it's I think it, I saw. I thought I saw. It. Sorry, four nine six. Sorry, yeah, four nine six over there. Not the. Uh, so that's probably why it's so uh, affordable. This is the engine. Why the five liter is called the five liter. Is, is that an engine shot that we haven't seen down there at the last end? The last shot. Boom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you zoom in on that? Oh yeah. It's the six. Yeah, it's a six for sure. I uh, I think. I think the six was the only way you could get a manual transmission in that car. No, you could get a manual with the V8. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Yeah. You, you were sure about you were sure about. No, I did a burnout. I did a burnout in one, and then and then uh, did some damage to it. <laughs> and then yeah. he brake torque it in four low. This is a memory. <laughs> so yeah, not it's. Oh wait, see, it's got a step on the right side. Does it not have a step on the left side? uh yeah step on the left so i mean okay, those might yeah. be step supports but it just seems it seems like if they've overdone it yeah yeah that just seems pretty intense for step supports uh but let's see uh ac doesn't blow cold but otherwise it seems to be all right for 4400 bucks um but I, I mean i've already got too many trucks so i can't i can't buy this but i do i like the idea of getting a big bronco it's a very affordable bronco these have gone up so much in value. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's, 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 it's one of those, it's a good project car material. But I mean, it, it doesn't look far from being like pretty sweet. I don't know if, I don't have the four, have the 600s gone up as well or just the eights? Well, I mean, I just meant Broncos in general. Yeah. Right. This is yeah. a good entry point into Bronco. I think, you know, for if it, if it lasted the summer, you do some mudden, you get, you go crazy. Uh, have manual hubs in the front, or yeah, yeah manual hubs. I think that's what he said. Um, the Bronco, the Bronco name is in the forefront of a lot of people's that's minds. A rear. I always like it when Craigslist, um, Craigslist listings don't get your expectations up high. Look at the bottom; it's an '87, so don't expect perfection or perfect. It needs a little TLC, just a little, just a little. But you know, removable hardtop, like you could have for, for six months of summer, you could have a good time. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, like yeah, this. I think you're gonna like my you wanna you want to get the sheet out of that back out of the back of your jeans. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> looks, I still looks, have it <laughs> ready to go. Wrapped in look, plastic. It looks, like this guy, it looks like this guy lives in a condominium complex, which means the HOA is PO'd about him parking. The police never confiscated that sheet, Jonathan. That's no no. <laughs> Sadly, no one has ever touched my sheet. Oh, <laughs> so sad. That is sad. Maybe, maybe I could I could meet Mandy Bell down by the creek in my Bronco and get that sort I'm of. Totally out. looking up Mandy Bell on Facebook. 
<laughs> don't don't. All do right. <laughs> now I've seen a lot of cars, Jonathan. I think you've you've seen some good things, some bad things, but you're, now you're about to see the best thing. Here we go. No, you got to give me what's your trademark what, on? Yeah, come on. Give me the Are you guys ready on. to see the winner? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh That's God. a pretty cool car. Taurus SHO. It's the last year before the mid-cycle refresh, so it's the original look of the Taurus SHO. Uh, uh, California car, so it's got a 4X plate, which automatic. Probably, it's been in California for at least around 20 years, maybe a little more. Mm. Um, it's not an automatic. The automatic oh. came out in 92, so this is a manual. Mm. Manual transmission, mm. super clean. Look at how clean this is. Whoa. <laughs> Specifically the ashtray. <laughs> Woo. I, thought we were gonna, I thought we were gonna get a spiel That's on high Astro. resolution photos though. I like that. Um, it's, got, it's got the original, it's got the original radio in it. Yes, it does have the original radio. Mm -hmm. It's a really wow. clean car. Yeah, super clean. It's in Pasadena, Jonathan. I can go get it for you. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean the paint looks You're really not going like to Pasadena. Garage. It looks like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you realize that that would mean like going four miles. Are you, you sure you're ready for that? So the guy who owns it's up in the hills and probably has a pretty nice house. It looks like it's been, you know, out of the sun. The paint looks like it's in terrific condition. Uh, How many I can't miles tell are what, on it? What's that? How many miles are on it? Oh yeah, good question. Hang on, let me shrink this. Uh, I gotta get out of this photo thing. It's, it's not like an opening bit. It's not like Hemmings is doing an opening no, bit. No, 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 146,000 miles, manual. He says it's in excellent condition. Recycle Jonathan, original owner. Hmm. Originally it's repainted. Oh, it's, 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 it's nice and glossy because of the recent respray, but it looks like it's a high quality respray. Everything works, never dented, no rust, much maintenance and preventative replacements by Show Shop, A&E and ProTech Automotive, all receipts, all original build sheet, needs a show home. I need Can, this. Do you consider where you live to be a show home? <laughs> I might what have to set my what game up. A show home, just having a show in it? <laughs> You know, but the, 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 the okay, always have... I think is that an is that a, a four thirty next to it? Uh, oh. No, is no. it a Corvette? What it's like it? a BRZ, isn't it? No, no it's no. a Corvette. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a Corvette. A can you zoom in on that? Can you zoom in on that? So we yeah, can might be a C eight. I think it's, it's a C eight. It's a C eight. No, not the right steering wheel. No, it's not the right. Yeah, C seven. I think it's no? a C seven. No. no, that does not look like a Chevy. No, oh. it's got vents in the rear. Oh, no, that's a, well, look, it's well, it's a C8. That's a C8 with right. this steering wheel. Here's the, okay, here's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it is in the flat bottom wheel. Yeah, it's a oh. C8. I don't know yeah. if that's his C8 or if that was just taken at the shop, but, but yeah, I mean, clearly it's a, it's a, you know, it's a one owner car. I know he like one owner cars. <laughs> it's a busy stone. I mean, he put it in him. Is that, is, that the original, is that the original shifter? That thing yes. is like, it's like a walking cane. Yes, yeah. it's very long. They were that long. was in the that was in style at the time. <laughs> of course, doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> but yeah, these are fantastic cars. Two hundred twenty horsepower, but they don't weigh that much. Uh, here's the original road test. This one's on the fifteen inch wheels. The one you are the one you would be buying is on the sixteen inch wheels. You, you can just say yours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it revs it revs to over seven grand. So I mean, look, I don't know. That, wait, hold on. I don't know what anything about these. Are they actually good vehicles? Yes, yes. they're fantastic. 220 I mean, horsepower at 6,000 RPM, <laughs> 205 pound feet of torque at 4,800. Would, would anyone else like to answer that question? Yeah, the engine was, the engine was, built, by, the engine was built by Yamaha. It's, yeah. actually a, it's actually a very good engine. Mm. And uh, Good engine, is, nightmare to work on though. I know, but so you don't work on them, you just, you know. They don't, they don't ever need any work. When it, when it breaks, spark plug. When, it, when it breaks, you take it out of the car, you put a tabletop on it and let it leave it <laughs> that pretty to look at. Yeah, Jonathan, they only weigh 3,350 pounds, basically. 6.7 to 60. Although we did clock ones as quick as 6.4 to 60. But that's the that's the same time as the Volvo uh, the Casey had. True, but this is a one owner car in better condition with a manual transmission. The more it's interesting more special. Car it's a respray, though. I'm pretty sure the Volvo's original paint. Yeah, but oh. your Volvo needs a respray. <laughs> your Volvo needs a respray. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It's perfect. It's a, that's that a nice a, that, that is a very clean looking car. I will give you all the credit for that. 
All right, um, now we will, now we're at the part of the show where we vote on each other's cars and maybe advise Jonathan on which one to buy. I don't know. Or Jonathan yes. might tell us which one he's going to buy. Well, I'll take all advice. All right, except early, for, the leaf. Hold on, except there's one car that's <laughs> not going to happen, so don't bother voting. Just, just even talk about the leaf. Everybody show your bias against environmentally prudent ideas. <laughs> not leaf. That, that was a buy commercial yeah. you just filmed. Okay. <laughs> Everyone thumbs down on the leap, Jonathan. Thumbs down. Oh, come on, I'm not even. I'm not even going to waste a thumb on that car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, if you, Curly. Look, if you would, Curly, if you would, if you had gotten like a Fiat 500 EV for as crap as that car was, I would at least be like, I dig it, and it is. I could, I could do my 63 miles in style. But first, Jonathan, you seem a little insulted by the leaf. I can understand. Oh my god! Oh, Pearly and I are going to have words after this episode. <laughs> well, so ends so ends our bro ship. No, All right, Pearly. No, no. We are torn asunder by no. the by 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 the by the cleavage that comes I from just, the Nissan Leaf. I All just right, want to Pearly. know what I did to you, Pearly. I just look, want to know what I did. Look, I got to tell, I got to tell you when it comes down to picking the car though that I'd pick, and I hate to say it, it's easy. It's an easy choice here. It's the show, tour show. <laughs> you know, that's a car. That's a car that when it was new, I deeply loved driving. I thought it was really neat. I, I, I think it's it's one of the most beautiful intake manifolds in the history of cars. It's technically interesting. It's historically interesting. This one was well, a it nice. Makes me, really, it makes me feel so good that you have to suffer and pick my car. <laughs> yeah. I would love to. You should splice in right now what he said when I presented a show like. Two months ago, <laughs> and see how different it is. I don't remember this. <laughs> All right, and, you uh, know, you know, if, if, I, if I picked a Tundra, I would be getting the same thing. So anyhow, oh, no, I, I would, I, I would have that would have been thumbs up. I would have loved a Tundra. Uh, Jonathan I, I loves trucks. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I have, I have. After 22 years writing for Car and Driver magazine, I resigned myself to my marginalization. I understand I mean, what's going on. This. I love I am, you. You show up to the party with a bag of poop, and now you're upset that people right. want you to go He's outside. He's playing the victim. He's playing. Why people want to stand next to you and smell your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring a tundra, Burley? I would. I would have been all for it. Please, you please, please. please. Tundra. I, you know, I, I, I came up with a, I came up with a progressive, interesting vehicle. Oh my god. No, you're bad at <laughs> kickball. You, Listen, you're bad at idea. kickball. You're bad at kickball, and then you're surprised why you get picked last. Yeah, no, no, an EV is it's a, it's a good idea, but it just went like the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like of all of the EVs, it was like the one that you just shouldn't go after. Like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, Joey. I, I, I still think I, I look the Hurry. toys. I, no, no, I, just have, I just have one last thing. Just one last thing. <laughs> Jonathan, five the toys. Thank you very much. Go. All right, Pearl or uh, Joey, Mazda MPV. I loved it. Oh, man. Out of the yeah. box. Totally. Except yeah. in the box because it is right. Box. The box that's out of the box. Well, but it's still, but it's like it's like the left the left field of Caparella's box, yeah, <laughs> which I, I think it. it's a it's a beautiful view into your head. Pushing so the norm core envelope. <laughs> All right, Joey. Uh, what's your favorite show? <laughs> Not the show. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Volvo. I think that thing's awesome. Very cool car. <laughs> and that one in Hawaii, especially, looks so clean. No, yeah, the one that whoever is whoever, uh, if somebody's looking for an 850R, or actually, if anybody's looking for a car in Hawaii, buy that because you'll enjoy it. <laughs> if, if you're looking for a reason to have to go to Hawaii to buy your car, that might well, be so Jonathan, interesting. You a nice enough, vacation. I, I did recently uh, look up uh, shipping a car from Hawaii, and it's it's not as bad as you might think. Uh, how much is that? I mean, it's about a grand. Oh, the way the way yeah, to get it cheap is to, the way to get it cheap is to join the Navy and then put it on top of an aircraft carrier during a tiger cruise. Okay, oh, yeah, you got Casey, it. a grand to where? A grand to the West Coast? Uh, no, that was a grand. I think uh, I think so. I was looking at it was a it was a BMW station wagon, and it was I want to say they quoted like eleven twenty. To get it to my house in Michigan. Wow, that's surprising. It's not bad. I mean, no. it's only a couple of grand to get to ship a car to Europe. Like if you take the slow boat. So that's yeah, right. this is slow right. boat. This is this is yeah, not. You don't have to get it. There's right. no there is no timetable for this. It's like uh, it, it can arrive in three years. Yeah, you might you might <laughs> be enjoying be this next summer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's hard to get the boat from California to Michigan, too. All right, Casey, uh, Volvo, thumbs up. Oh. I liked it. Yeah. Good find. Pearly's giving it a sideways. Why the sideways, Pearly? It just, it's a car that every time I look at them, I just feel like, oh, God, that's the most boring design in the history of design of cars. It's just so square. But that one's the flying brick. That's the 850R. Oh, I'm saying, of all, <laughs> wow. Look, wow. if we're not going to have opinions, we're not going to have opinions. So no, you opinions just, you, you drove up in a blue first gen leaf <laughs> and you're talking about boring design. Really? Really? <laughs> oh my God, your, app, your alliance is so fractured. I no, 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 nothing, nothing can break the alliance. I just like I don't know like I want to know what's in that bottle he's drinking from. <laughs> That's what I know. Because if, if it were if it were Robitussin, that would make more sense to me. This is by <laughs> Zambia Bing Cherry, and we all oh, know the best ads. Bing Cherries oh, are big. Uh, by Zambia Bing Cherry. See, oh drink God. it all. All right, well, Jonathan Bronco. I'm kind of on the fence on this one. What do you? I'm mean? on the fence on. It's just I just don't like. I the don't example. get to pick. Oh, sorry, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Because quite frankly, I don't want to have to give you an advantage. <laughs> so, Which one? You know, Is it the show? Yeah, it's the show. Yeah, I mean, because that's what that's what I would. Yeah, it's the show. Yeah. Those are and those are hard to find. Those are hard to find. Um, that's an. I have an original owner. Yeah, there we go. Just not, you can stop a lot of selling them. the car now. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop selling the car. I think, yeah. I think they're a lot harder. I think they're a lot harder to find in the Midwest than they are in California. I think the the uh, the Midwest chewed them up with rust. Oh yeah, yeah. they yeah, they sure. return yeah. to the earth for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, All right. Rust to the people, the people who bought them, yeah, beat the hell out of them. Yeah, but they're 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 great. They're fun cars. And Colin O'Brien owns one. Oh yeah, celebrity owned. There you go. Yeah. All right, uh, Bronco. I'm on the fence. I don't know how I'm going to vote. What do you guys think? You got to, I mean, it's, I it's like poor it's Jonathan. Good. He liked it. So you got to give him a thumbs up. Oh my God. Here we go. Well, thank a you. Bronco that's that cheap is, seems like a good buy. Yeah. <laughs> that same logic didn't apply when he was picking guilty pleasures though. <laughs> again we need to we need to splice back <laughs> for a few episodes for this <laughs> we should not hold ourselves to what we've said in Let, i love it those yeah. are yesterday's facts today <laughs> what is it consistency is he's the, the hobgoblin of little minds yes thank you pearly for interrupting me <laughs> <laughs> she gotta help <laughs> all right jonathan what it, what's your favorite car man oh man this uh it's gonna sting no matter what oh, should we, should, exactly should, exactly should, 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 should we say jonathan's choice for the end since he's gonna be since it's his it's his decision that's the one yes we know I, I like that i like that we'll okay fine. we can do that um all right taurus sho let me see some thumbs please Ooh. thumbs up or thumbs up? <laughs> all right all right and then i my favorite it's between the mazda and the Volvo. Yeah, if you don't give it to the Volvo, you know you're doing that just so you can secure it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm okay with. I, I mean, I respect that. I respect that. Kind of how it let works. Think. I, I, mm, let me think. Yeah, I guess I'll give it to the Volvo. So we're tied. So Jonathan, you're the tied. That was, okay, that, and that was like, that was like the most Bachelor-esque let me think which which one I'm going to give the rose to. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll be the hot chick. I've been banging for two weeks. How about her? Wait, how are you tied, though? I don't know why I've been banging have, for two weeks. I'm, I'm hitting, I'm, I'm telling her I to have, kick rocks. I yeah, have, I mean, I'm just watching this one go off the rails. You only have one vote. I have two votes. I have uh, Pearly's vote, and I have KC's vote. Yeah. Oh, right. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> the Volvo, yeah, you're tied. And then yeah. you voted for you voted for his car, and I voted the for Volvo. His. Yeah, we both voted yeah. for his Volvo. All right, Jonathan, <laughs> who's the winner? You get to decide. Uh, well, I mean, there were there were three fantastic cars uh, presented uh, <laughs> this week, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's the original it's, owner it's between the it's between the Volvo and the show manual and, transmission. Uh, Oh man, um, I am. I mean, and this is like skin of my teeth. Close, it's that close. Like I'd like to vote for both of them. Can I do that? No, you have to buy one. <laughs> what then, you uh, both? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with the 
show, but <laughs> yes, but I mean, but I mean, it's so it's so close. Like I, I love the Volvo, love the Volvo, but the the Not show is a manual. Fun. It uh, it appears to be in superb. I mean, almost you know, Sean, like, like like Buick Park Avenue Ultra condition. Yes, I will be contacting oh, the owner for you. I'll go get it. <laughs> see what he says, and have uh, and see if, see if that firm really means firm, or if it means like soft wood firm, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that means. Wait, but yeah, I was like, Jonathan wait, pick his own car in this <laughs> case. Wait, what is that? Can you pick your own car in this case? Well, I yes. could, but I mean, I'm not gonna pick. I mean, to, to save 600 bucks, I would not pick the Bronco over the, and I like I'd already have, I have yeah. two trucks now and it is, uh, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to go full Kentucky yet. <laughs> so I might, I'd go with the show All right. until, I, until I get to Hawaii and I can buy myself a Volvo, then <laughs> I will, I'll load up on a, T, a T5R, but yeah, show wins it. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Oh, Johnson, is this a commitment to go buy the car? <laughs> yeah i'm gonna contact the, i'm gonna contact the seller so that next week we should be able to have the car featured on this next program. week <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's see what happens when he contacts the owner first because because if, he, if i can't get it then i've got i can go to portland and test drive a bunch of stuff and come back with a volvo okay back on leaf. The leaf. back on the leaf no I wanted that drive take in the leaf. We should calculate that. <laughs> calculate that and then put put the number of years up. And on, on the highway, how, how far would we go on the highway? Pure highway miles? You know, I, I, didn't, realize was, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize there was that much hatred for the leaf. I just, just. Uh, Not I'm, any leaf, just that really? early leaf. The, the conversation we had during the show didn't, uh, didn't tip you off? <laughs> just, just, just the sheer venom of which you guys dismissed the future. I, I, hey, I love EVs. That's not for a somebody, yeah. For somebody, I, I, it's for somebody who enjoys driving cars. Th that's not the car form, right? Like that car serves a purpose, and it's good at its purpose, but its purpose is nowhere near the show. And it's so outdated. I mean, the battery is just like not usable today. Pearly, let 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 this in. Pearly, let it in. Trying to be, be even more crestfallen. <laughs> Well, that was, well, and you say like the battery isn't useful. That was when like, they were like, oh yeah, the average person drives 40 miles, a year, 40 miles a day. You remember like that was like this number that uh, manufacturers tried to just stuff down our throats. And we're like, no, people want to be able to drive more than what they have to drive every day. All right, Casey, uh, you got to go in four minutes. And wait, for instance, so for instance, Berlin yeah. today, I had to drive 90 miles just to go get a thing for my ambulance and then the, uh, uh, back to Best Buy and then to the tow shop. I could not have done that in my leaf. Like, what's no. what's the point? Of being if, like, unless well, it was a fast charge, and then it would have, you know, yeah. yeah was, that this, was this the area for, for, for that. Kind you, of yeah, Jonathan, and I'm not clear on this. You live this, your, your, this Kentucky is your home right here. This this base, right? Old Kentucky home, yeah. Old Kentucky home, right? Yes. So, yes. so I mean, I don't know what is this Hobart, Kentucky. Is that what you said it was? Hebron. It's Florence, Hebron. y'all. Hebron. Hebron, Kentucky. Boom. Hebron. Yes. Hebron. Okay. Yes. Close. I have no idea what that place is like. I assume it's an environmentally conscious place with with chargers Woo! all Tony, over the place. Tony, here, Tony. Let's go. So he's done <laughs> no research. Once again, you did no research. Oh you found a car that isn't fit for Jonathan. I mean, you all could right. have brought a Tundra. Why We're did you done. Oh, wait, I thought he was just. I thought he was about to take that off and walk off like uh, what's his name on that. Oh, no, please. <laughs> Not uh, to bring a tundra. All right. Well, Even that Dodge Raider. I'll sell, I'll, I'll sell you my green Raider. tundra for five grand. All right. We got to end the episode. It's okay. over. I won. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Jonathan's going to buy There's going to be a sweet SHO commercial. Wrong. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. I don't know if they ever advertise it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching for this long. <laughs> Please hit the like button and subscribe and please keep sending your ideas for future challenges. Um, and we will see you next week. <laughs> and if you didn't stop three, watching when Pearly pulled out the leaf. Thank you. <laughs> thank three of you for your help. <laughs> the leaf is the best choice. You guys are just, you know. <laughs>
its 24-valve V6 engine, double overhead cams, and 220 horsepower, the new Ford Taurus SHO isn't for everyone. In fact, only a select number will experience this sport interior and performance suspension. The new limited production Ford Taurus SHO. Power in the hands of a fortunate few. Have you driven a Ford?